Hey guys. Okay. I have this document. I haven't shown it to you yet. It's a fact, a factual document that shows an adoption record. You know, the, the records are sealed. You guys, if you're adopted, the records are sealed, but I found this record and it says how the child was adopted. Okay. It says the child was from Korea. Then it says how the child was adopted. And it said KNA right here, KNA, which is Kentucky Nurses Association. So I looked up Kentucky Nurses Association and it's got uh, ways to adopt. And then when you look through the people, I mean, the, the, uh, I guess these are animals. They're calling them strays, caring about the strays, uh, age, gender, color, white, mostly. And then there's a pet ID. Uh, Okay, beautiful Zena with her advent calendar. Now, my mom used to give me, and my grandmother used to give me advent calendars that had little gifts on them, tied on them. This is weird. Happy life, beautiful little girl. They're not calling it a cat. What she'd really like is a home for the holidays. Zena would love to be adopted with her sister Zoe or her mama Zelda. Uh, I don't think these names are a mistake either. Fill out Zena's adoption application. Uh, start the process of bringing her home. Please note, our service area is in Pascac Valley. Thank you for caring. Adopt Zena KNA Peaches. Please reach out to the adoption group directly. Uh, okay, so this is on PetSmart. All right, adopt a pet. Humane Society of Pagosa, Polly KNA Bell. Right, so we got Kodiak, male Labrador, Jess, Bodie, and Wade KNA Charlie. A male Labrador Retriever dog adopted on March 21st. All right. So they don't all say KNA, but the ones that do, I believe that is very strange. Uh, let's see. KNA. Jelly Bean KNA. KNA is. Jelly, okay, KNA can also be, if you look at a KNA can also be formerly known, former, <laughs> formerly known as, okay, KNA, Structural Engineers in Irvine, KNA Solutions, KNA Designs, it, it, it's a, it's a, a nurse's society, and my mom's name, as I know her, works there, so let me show you. Kentucky Nurses Association. All right. So if you if you look in here, um, they also have the KNA Angel. Uh, remember, I told you that the nurses are the ones that get to decide. You know, if if hurting someone helps the most people, right? So KNA, uh, I just find that to be odd because it's on the adoption record that went through Korea. KNA adoption. And then you can browse by county. Provides that child means a person under the age of 16, previously 14. Uh, and then it talks about the laws, and I just think this is really weird. K and A, Children Restriction, Criminal Law Amendment Act, Anti-Terrorism Act, uh, 
protection of employment, amendment, proceeds of a crime, social development assistance. These are all of the ways that they are using the law against your rights. And um, it's really against, you know, it's against God what they're doing to children. Um, because this happens, you might be born here, but on paper, you're, or, or, you know, somebody actually mentioned that they thought they might have been born in America. I had, for one, an, an English accent, you know, a England English accent when I was a little girl. And um, employment of children restriction. Country St. Kitts and Nevis, elimination of child labor, protection of children and young persons, KNA, provides that child means a person under the, under the age of 16, and I've shown you this before, where um, in the immigration law, right? What is age if you come in as an asylee, asylee uh, child, right? Is your age is frozen forever. So we got Disney frozen. I mean, derivative refugee asylum status meet the legal definition of, of a child, including being under age 21. Can a child apply for asylum? You may apply for asylum as an unaccompanied minor, even if you are in immigration court proceedings, if you are under 18, have no lawful immigration status, and have no parent or legal guardian, all right? But they, what they're doing is they're, um, uh, okay, look at this. For immigration purposes, a child is an unmarried person or a son or daughter is a person who is married or is under 21 years of age, right? So they have this loophole where if they marry you, you can never become under the Child Status Protection Act. You can never become... Uh, You can never become a citizen if you get married, but, but so what they're doing is they're, they're asking you to, to do contracts and then these contracts are undertaken through fraud because they know you're in a guardianship and they're going to steal all your money, right? So it's really a hate crime against children and a hate crime against rights. Um, and you know, I, I just kept looking up a silly adjustment under INA. Asylees and derivative asylees adjust status under INA. A derivative asylee can apply for adjustment under INA independently of the principal asylee. To be eligible, de derivative asylee must have been physically present in the United States for at least one year following the asylum grant before filing the application for adjustment. Once the application for adjustment of status is approved, the asylee's date of admission to permanent residence is calculated to be one year before the application's approval date. Right. So how do these contracts and how are they taking loans from somebody who's considered a child? Well, they're not supposed to be. They're not supposed to be. If the derivative child marries or the principal asylee dies, the individual will no longer qualifies a child under INA. Right. And they will no longer be able to adjust as a derivative asylee. However, the derivatives in this situation will not lose their status as asylees unless UCCIS, USCIS, or EO, EOR, this is EOR, remember EOR, you know, my, ch my sister was given uh, Winnie the Pooh and I was given EOR. EOR is a sad child who has no... Uh, no rights. In addition, they may be granted nunc pro tunc asylum.
Likewise, if the derivative child is firmly resettled or the principal asylee naturalizes, the derivative child will no longer be eligible for adjustment as a derivative. The derivative asylee cannot be subject to any mandatory bars to adjustment, such as those found inadmissible for drug trafficking, terrorism, or espionage. Uh, that is very weird. And I don't totally understand what this means, but it is a bunch of legal bullshit in my book because it's human slavery, right? So E-I-O-R is the Executive Office for Immigration Review, and that goes through the Department of Justice. So let's see, operational status, portal, and then here for E. Eeyore, operational status during the coronavirus pandemic, please click here. So here we go. Tracy Short, Chief Immigration Dr Judge, Dan Weiss, Mary Chang, Sheila McNulty, areas of responsibility, report concerns, list of administrative control courts. Then you just keep going down. So you go, immigration courts are listed here and then Jeanette Patron you go I guess here you can go here look at all that uh, there's a lot of them right and so in this status um, you've got to you've got to figure it out I mean I, I don't even know how to figure it out but um, find case information and then maybe you can put in the the alien ID number now there are a bunch of documents available uh, in, in you know where I research that that show the alien ID numbers but look it's, it's just not loading it's very weird anyway I just want to show you this if I find more I'll let you know